So I'm here with Jim Frechterman, who is the director of Benetech. Tell us about what Benetech does. Uh, Benetech is Silicon Valley's nonprofit technology company, and we exist to combat market failure. Basically, when something doesn't make enough money but does a lot of social good, we want to develop software that delivers solutions for that social problem. So what kinds of things do you actually build? Well, we write software in three different major areas. The first one is education, especially for kids with disabilities. So like, we run the largest library for the print disabled, the blind, in the world, online. And we also write software for the human rights movement, whether you're a grassroots group or a truth commission or a war crimes tribunal. And our third area is the environment. We write project management software for environmentalists that are running campaigns or managing programs on the ground to actually sort of have the same kind of tools you would have in a for-profit, but because you're in the environment, now you've got fun. And, and I heard you're starting a new project for coding for social good. Yeah, we, um, it's, in a, it's in a pilot phase right now. It's called Social Coding for Good. And you can kind of think of it as an online matching site for geeks that want to do social good. So you tell us your passion, your technical skill, and your time availability, and we'll hopefully match you up with a project like Wikimedia or uh, the Guardian Project helping human rights groups or, you know, whatever other sort of project that matches up with your goals. It's just in a pilot phase, but we're hoping that in the next year it goes to scale so that geeks all over the world that want to do social good can get a chance to go to a place like GitHub, do some volunteering, and get some good cred for having done something socially good. So how much experience would students need to have to be able to start doing this? Um, well, you know, I think that people in different levels of the professional area of software development can actually help. I think our initial target audience is to work on people who are in the profession, people who are working for high-tech companies or software developers. But the human rights, the environment, education need people at all sorts of different levels. So whether it could be characterizing a bug or writing some documentation. And our goal, of course, is people can increase and improve their skills by doing volunteering for social good, and then hopefully that leads to a job, either doing social good or maybe your regular job. So it sounds like you've found ways to do lots of really beneficial things with technology. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what are the, the social responsibilities that someone who gets power because they learn about technology should have? Well, you know, I, th I think that being educated in a profession like software development, you have a responsibility to give back to society. Now, many people do that by actually getting a job and creating products that have value. But the thing that I want to talk to engineers about is, you know, as you go out there and you see problems that are important to society and they can take advantage of your skills, don't ignore them just because they don't make a lot of money. You know, I think that there are ways to make a living or volunteer to actually help these issues. And I think that that's really uh, an area of terrific satisfaction as a tool maker when you see the great things that people do with your tools solve big social problems, and actually find a way to change the world for the better, not just for more money.